Genaxolone is a uh, um, neurosteroid. It's a positive allosteric modulator of the GABA receptor. And what makes it different from the benzodiazepines is that it has synaptic and extrasynaptic activity. <coughs> what makes it relevant to the status epilepticus patient is the extrasynaptic activity that Genaxolone has. So when patients have seizures, <coughs> normally in five minutes it's called status epilepticus if they don't regain consciousness. By that, by that time they are normally treated with benzodiazepines. And uh, with time what happens, the ben benzodiazepine receptors internalize and eventually patients become resistant to benzos. Genaxolone acts on the synaptic as well as the extrasynaptic and therefore when benzos stop working, Genaxolone still works. We believe that uh, this molecule will deliver additional benefits for patients and uh, again as Mike said, we, we are very excited about the results of our preclinical studies. We did show uh, reversal of status epilepticus in the animals and we showed reversal of status epilepticus in animals who are already benzodiazepine resistant. So we showed that this compound works where benzos don't work. And we are about to start our phase one study and uh, the phase one study will investigate the PK and the behavior of the IV formulation. We do have an oral formulation that's already in phase three in patients with partial onset seizure disorders and we know that uh, the drug works because we already have some positive studies. Uh, we just have to enter this new field of status epilepticus. This is high unmet need, uh, very high morbidity, very high mortality especially if you wait and uh, the way neurologists talk about status epilepticus they say time is praying. So the longer the continuous seizures um, stay with the, with the patient, the poorer the outcome is and the prognosis and the mortality goes up. So again, uh, this is what we believe Genaxolone will provide another option for patients who are in this particular condition. The status epilepticus, I mean these patients, they, they are in con like recurrent convulsion, so they cannot, there is nothing else that they can be administered other than IV. And uh, um, we do believe that Genaxolone has the potential and um, it will help a slightly different patient population. The way we see the benefit for Genaxolone is that actually we can provide them with the step-down oral option. So once they, their seizures are under control, they can convert to the oral formulation and they can be kept on an oral medication as well. So again, it's a continuum of care of patients who are in this very serious condition. The other indication is for more outpatients and treatment resistant epilepsy and it's a very very typical phase 3 program for adjunct therapy of Genaxolone in patients with treatment resistant partial onset seizures. The status epilepticus is a syndrome so it depends of what brought them to status epilepticus. About half of the patients have previous history of epilepsy so if their epilepsy is non-controlled or they are non-compliant with their medication once the seizures get under control and they are put on oral therapy normally you'd expect to see some sort of seizure control. Uh, other parts of other group of patients status epilepticus will be the initial presentation so those will be um, traumatic brain injuries, strokes, uh, and these patients, again, the emergency will be to, to control the, the recurrent seizures and once they are off the IV therapy, of course, they'll be on a, on a maintenance therapy of antiepileptic drugs. And they'll be followed. So some of them may not have seizures, some of them may have seizures afterwards, it's just depending on, on the individual case and the condition. it can be a lot of like outcome measures. So in other terms, if you um, are in status epilepticus and if, you, if they can break your status within 30 minutes versus two days, the outcome will be very different in terms of recovery, in terms of neurological consequences and in terms of what happens to, to these patients afterwards. We will start phase one very soon and then uh, we have uh, very aggressive plans to be to become to be in patients soon
probably before the end of 2016.